Next match now underway. All six robots on the move here in qualification match number 39. First scoring on the board is coming from the Blue Alliance. Those first 15 seconds have now elapsed. It looks like a slight advantage to the Blue Alliance. It was only about by two points though. Now these robots showing up as being tied here in our match with about two minutes remaining. All three red robots focusing on intake at the moment. They traverse the field back to the Red Alliance power port. Meanwhile, Blue is hard at work at scoring. RJ9 and Josh working together near the Blue Alliance power port. And Aleem in blue sticking tight to Pollux in red bumpers. They're going to try to slow down that scoring cycle and it's paying off so far. The Blue Alliance has established a bit of a lead because red is a little bit slower on the score thanks to the defensive action of blue. It's given the Blue Alliance members a little bit of extra time to get power cells scored and increase their score before red was able to do the same. The Blue Alliance does lead by about 50 points now, just under a minute and a half remaining in the match. Blue Alliance still focusing on a combination of defense and offense. RJ9, once again, of defending for the Blue Alliance. They're kind of cycling back and forth between the Blue Alliance loading zone, picking up power cells as they're entered into the field of play, but also giving an occasional nudge to an offensive Red Alliance robot. Red still at the moment focusing purely on offense. They're trying to increase their score as quickly as they can to catch up in the final minute of this match. Pollux, though, in red bumpers, despite their full hop of power cells, they take a moment to play some defense against their opponents. They now cross underneath the shield generator switch, line up alongside their alliance partner Nicholas, and exit those power cells from their manipulator and to get a quick nudge from Josh in blue. That nudge does cause at least two power cells to bounce off the backboard for the red alliance not being able to be scored. A huge collision between RJ and Pollux in red is going to momentarily disable both of those robots. They're stuck over near the Red Alliance Trench. RJ9, though, now is free and is going to race over to the rendezvous point for the Blue Alliance while their Alliance partner Josh empties their hopper one more time. The Blue Alliance luckily has scored at least 90 power cells. It looks like Red will not be able to pull it off this time. So despite their position, they're trying to get at least one ranking point for hanging at the end of the match. But it does appear that the Red Alliance might miss out on that ranking point here in qualification match number 39 with at least two of their robots still on the playing field floor. We're going to take a look at that score breakdown again. A Blue Alliance victory, 368 to 253. The Blue Alliance will walk away with four ranking points in that match. Two for the win, one for the power cells, and one for the end game. The Red Alliance, unfortunately, will not walk away with any ranking points at the conclusion of the match, falling just a few power cells shy and at least one robot shy on the shield generator switch. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.